Hey guys, this is Colin with Colin Talks Crypto, and in this short episode, I'm going to show you how to generate an EOS key pair offline. I noticed I'd been getting some requests on how do I create my EOS key pair offline. I actually just spent a little bit of time and typed this up here. So we're just going to go through these steps. And this procedure is going to work for any operating system, whether you're a Windows user, a Mac user, or an Ubuntu user. And the reasons you might want to do this is for security, first of all. Maybe you're creating a new EOS account and you want to make absolutely sure that it is totally safe and the keys have never been exposed to the internet. The private key has never been exposed to the internet. Or perhaps you're following my other tutorial on how to use the gray mass wallet to modify your active key or your owner key and to put in a new key pair for those uses. So regardless of your needs for a new EOS key pair, this tutorial will show you how to generate one safely and offline. And I just want to clarify and make this very clear at the beginning that this is the method that I have used and I have used it successfully. I've not had any problems with it, but that does not mean that it's impossible for there to be problems with this. And what I mean specifically is I use this specific generator here and we'll, we'll show you that in a bit. And while I have found it to be completely safe and secure to use, that doesn't mean that if this user, for example, decided to become malicious in the future, that they couldn't modify the code or change something on this site. This is not my site. So use at your own risk, use at your own discretion. I have used it and again, I have had no problems with it. So I just want to make that very clear. And also if you want to, you could substitute your own web page, your own key generator for this step and it will still work with this procedure. Okay, so the first step is go to this website and make sure that it's exactly typed as I have it in the description and as I showed you on that previous screen. If it matches both of those, then you're at the right site. This is the EOS key generation site. It's a very simple web page. And actually this web page was taken directly from the EOS.io source code that generated the key pairs during the ICO. It's the exact same code and just made into a web interface. And so you can review the source code here and basically, I mean, I'll just show you what happens. You click this generate EOS key and it will generate you a key pair. It takes a, a second or two because it's actually doing some intense mathematical computations. And, and what do we have here? We have a public key and we have a private key. And that's exactly what we want. Now, if that was all we needed, then this would be the end of the tutorial right here. However, while this is what we want, we want to generate this offline because right now I'm fully connected to the internet and if I had um, a program that was looking in the memory of my computer, if I've been hacked, if there's a key logger, anything like that, if I have a compromised computer, then this key is no longer safe. The fact that I'm even on the internet right now is just not a smart practice when it comes to generating a key pair. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click and go save as and you're going to save this EOS key generation .html, and save it to a flash drive or save it to a root folder on your computer such as C colon slash EOS dash generate something like that something very easy to get to because you're going to be loading that from a different operating system and we're going to boot up to that in a boot drive in a second. So save that file that's step one. And the reason that works is because this is a standalone web page. This web page has JavaScript in it and code in it that will run offline. It does not need to be connected to the internet. So this is your ticket. This is your key to being able to generate a key pair offline. Um, we just have to get you offline, first of all. So now a simple way of doing that would be just reboot your computer. Right now, you could just literally unplug the internet from your computer, reboot your computer, and then run this web page that you had saved and it would work. And you would generate a key pair just like we did. You would click on the generate EOS key and boom, you'd have a key pair. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. Now again, it doesn't stop anything on your computer from capturing that. I like to be very cautious when it comes to generating private keys because, I mean, you could have this private key for the next 10 years and it's worth taking that extra bit of caution right at the onset just to make sure that you feel secure. You know, you can sleep easy at night knowing that you generated it with full security. But yes, you could just boot your computer up with the internet disabled, load up this web page, click generate EOS key, 
and get this EOS key pair. However, for maximum security, and that's what we want in this video, we're going to do it offline. So now that we've got this web page saved, we're going to burn an Ubuntu boot flash drive so that we can boot up into another operating system entirely. And the logic being that we're going to have no internet and we're going to have a fresh operating system that's never been touched by any program. It's an entirely different operating system. You know, here we are using Windows or Mac or whatever, and we're going to boot into Ubuntu. So it's not even the same operating system. So the next step is to burn Ubuntu to a boot flash drive. And so there's three operating systems they support for that procedure. They give you the full instructions here. If you're using Ubuntu itself, just click the next arrow and follow this procedure. And this will show you how to do it on Ubuntu. You can see the steps are laid out here. Okay, now let's say that you're using Mac. Well, then you're going to click Apple Mac OS, and it gives you the steps here for how to generate that boot flash drive. And I'll just scroll through them quickly here so you can see. Now, let's say that you're on Windows, which is probably the majority of the users here. You're going to click on this link here and follow this procedure. And I've done this procedure, so I'll go through this with you in a little more detail. Click Next. Here's the requirements. So you're going to need Rufus, which is a small utility, a small standalone utility that lets you burn a flash drive with an ISO image. So first you're going to download Rufus, click on that link. Then you're going to download the Ubuntu ISO file, and you're going to click here to get that. Then when you've got the ISO downloaded and you've got Rufus ready, you select the ISO file and you burn it to the flash drive. This is using Rufus here to select the ISO image. And make sure you follow these instructions on what settings to choose. Write the ISO and you can see the progress bar here. So it's right now it's creating that boot drive and installation complete. So at this point you are ready to go. You should have at this point a flash drive with Ubuntu burned to it, ready to be a bootable device. And you should also have that web page saved of the EOS key pair generation. So if you have those two things, you're ready to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this drive, you're gonna plug it into your USB port, and you're going to unplug the internet from your computer before you do anything else. So now you're gonna be fully disconnected from the internet. At that point, you're going to reboot your computer. Now the flash drive is in, right? So your computer is going to hopefully just boot straight onto this. Now, on some computers, it won't just detect this. It won't automatically boot up on this. And that's very easily resolved. All you have to do is go into the BIOS screen. That's the basic configuration before you even get to Windows or your main operating system. And so you do that by rebooting your computer and pressing the delete key. Most 99% of the time it's the delete key. Sometimes it's F11. You press the delete key and it takes you into your BIOS. And this is going to vary based on your computer. So you're going to need to go to your boot up startup options and you're going to need to select the flash drive as the thing you want to boot up on and that way it will actually select this drive as your boot up device and that way you'll end up in Ubuntu. And then when you're done with this procedure just make sure to set it back to your C drive or whatever your main drive is so that you boot back into Windows normally when you're done getting your EOS key pair. Okay and if you've done it all successfully it'll take a few minutes to boot up off the flash drive. It does take a little while and when you end up finally landed in Ubuntu it's going to look like this screen here. Something like this. It's not going to look like Windows or Mac or what you're used to. You're going to be on a different operating system. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the File Explorer. You're going to open the drive and navigate your way to either your other boot disk that has the copy of your EOS key generation web page, or you're going to just go to your C drive and go to that C colon slash EOS dash generate or whatever you named that folder. And you're going to load that HTML file. You're just using this operating system as a way to have a clean slate and you're just going to use your local web browser within Ubuntu to load that HTML file. And so when you do, it will look exactly like we had before. So you're going to be doing this from within Ubuntu. And so then you're just going to click Generate EOS Key and boom, you're going to have a public key and a private key. And this time, since you're not connected to the internet and you're not on your regular operating system, you have a secure key pair. And so it's okay to show anyone this one, but this is what you want to store securely. And so right now what I would do is I would print it off 
and sometimes you need the right device driver in Ubuntu if it doesn't recognize your printer you might have to boot back to your other operating system to locate that device driver file hopefully it just recognizes your printer um, it usually does recognize your printer correctly and then print this page out and maybe print out two copies and store it in a couple of safe locations and um, if you want to you can actually I I'd recommend at this point so you're in Ubuntu, right? And save this to a text file. And that way you can't mistype it. And then you can boot back into your regular operating system, Windows or Mac, and load up that text file. And make sure you do not put this in there because that would have put it online at that point. But if you put this in a text file, it's okay. And then in Windows or Mac, you have access to your public key. You don't have to type all 40 characters and away you go. You now have generated a EOS key pair safely offline and you're good to go. You can then proceed with adding it as an active key pair or replacing your owner key that you had on your previous EOS account. You can do a lot of things. Um, if a hacker had hacked your account, this is what you would do. You would generate a new key pair, remove your active key, and replace it with a new active key pair. Okay guys, that's everything. I hope this has been very helpful to you. If so, please like this video, please subscribe, please share it with your friends, and please click that bell icon so you're notified of any of my new videos that I make. I hope you're having a great day. Take care. By the way, a big congratulations to Gray Mass, block producer Gray Mass, for making it into the top 21 block producers. I feel it is highly, highly deserved for being such a great asset to the community. I mean, they're the ones who have made the EOS Voter Wallet app that is so useful. And um, so here they are, they're currently in position 12. Um, last night, I think they had just entered into position 21. So it's really nice to see that they have gotten into a position that they so rightly deserve. So well done, Team Gray Mass. And well done to voters for putting them there. Good job, guys.